This is a complete list of Vice Presidents of the Philippines, who were inaugurated as Vice President of the Philippines following the ratification of a constitution that explicitly declared the existence of the Philippines. The inclusion of Mariano Trias in the list is disputed, for Trias was chosen as Vice President at the Tejeros Convention, and again as Vice President for the short-lived Republic of Biak na Bato, which was dissolved after the signing of the Pact of Biak na Bato and Aguinaldo's exile. Neither the reassumption of power by Emilio Aguinaldo when the revolution was resumed in May 1898 nor his formal proclamation and inauguration as president under the First Philippine Republic in 1899 were regimes that provided for a vice presidency. The vice presidency within the context of the Philippine government was formally created by the Constitution in 1935. Vice Presidents during the Commonwealth of the Philippines were under American sovereignty, and there was no office of Vice President during the Second Republic, considered to be a puppet government of Imperial Japan during World War II. When Ferdinand Marcos declared martial law, the sitting Vice President, Fernando López, was removed from the office. Marcos ruled without a Vice President until 1986. The 1973 Constitution initially did not provide for a vice president, but subsequent amendments restored the office. A vice president was able to sit after the 1986 election when the Marcos Arturo Tolentino ticket was proclaimed winners by the Batasang Pambansa. Three vice presidents succeeded to the presidency due to the death of presidents, Sergio Osmeña 1944, Elpidio Quirino 1948, and Carlos P. Garcia 1957. They did not nominate a new vice president, since the 1935 constitution was silent on the matter, a new vice president would sit after the results of following elections were known. Gloria Macapagal Arroyo became president after the Supreme Court ruled that President Joseph Estrada resigned. Arroyo appointed Teofisto Guingona days after she ascended to power. The 1987 constitution mandated the president to nominate a vice president from a member of the Congress of the Philippines, in which both houses vote separately for confirmation via a majority vote. Fernando López is the longest-serving vice president, who served for a combined total of almost 11 years. Arturo Tolentino served 11 days before being deposed in the 1986 People Power Revolution. Noli de Castro was the first vice president who was never a member of any political party but affiliated with the political coalition led by Lacas CMD. Key The colors indicate the political party affiliation of each individual. Vice Presidents Timeline This is a graphical timeline of the lifespans of Vice Presidents of the Philippines. The Vice Presidents are listed in order of office. 